Hey, everybody, we're back with the author of State of Emergency, Tamika D. Mallory. We're coming up on the year anniversary of the murder of George Floyd on May 25th. Um, and all those pro all the movement uh, that followed, the protests, uh, the marches in the streets, H how can that, um, how can that energy be sustained? Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, the energy is sustained because there continues to be incidents. I mean, we're thinking just about, look, you know, you're looking at George Floyd and the trial of Derek Chauvin as it was happening, as it was ended, I spent time sitting with his family for the last few days of the trial, waiting to hear this verdict. And in the midst of all of that, uh, Dante Wright was shot and killed by a 24-year veteran who claimed that she mistook her uh, gun for, or her taser for a gun. And this young man lost his life. Just two days after the verdict, uh, we heard the verdict, then there was his funeral, Dante's funeral. And so these instances have not stopped. Um, they have continued. They have persisted. And I think that keeps movements going, whether people like it or not. Um, and then the other part is that you're always going to see moments when people try to go back to their lives. I mean, it's unfortunate that folks even have to be in the streets organizing and in the ways in which we have had to, especially the summer of 2020, was one of those times where people really got exhausted. Folks always want to go back to their normal lives. But what's important is that we connect what we did in the streets and the protest to policy. So this is the time now when we have people who have obviously fought through an election, and now they have a responsibility to ensure that we're pushing our our, uh, our elected officials, um, President Biden, Vice President Harris, and um, our federal government to pass laws that match the energy that we saw in the streets. Uh, the new book is called State of Emergency. What is that? What does that title mean? And <laughs> I'll match you right here. Yes. What? Why, yeah. why this title? What does that title mean? And who is the ideal reader for this book? So I think the, the, the book is for everyone. I, I wrote it in the best way that I could, where diverse audiences would feel the need to pick it up. Obviously, my forwards are uh, by, it's a conversation between Cardi B, who we know is an icon in this particular moment in terms of culture, pop culture. Um, but then we have an icon from the civil rights movement, from the human rights movement, in that of Dr. Angela Davis. And I had the two of them to come together in conversation where Cardi B is basically saying, you know, I don't know if there's a place for me in this work because I'm not the typical um, organizer. I'm not the person that people see as an activist, but I care about the issues. And Dr. Davis takes the time to speak back to Cardi B and to welcome her to the table in this movement. And so therefore, uh, for me, that was an entryway for any person who picks up this book to find themselves. I wanted to make sure that a guy who's on the street corner could read it and feel the same as a pastor or a doctor or a lawyer. And of course, there's a whole section in the book that deals with white women specifically and some of the harm that can be caused by white women who have not done real work to deal with the biases that they possess. Um, and so I hope that everyone sees themselves in this book, and I certainly tried to write it that way. Well, State of Emergency is available now. Tamika D. Mallory, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you, Tamika.